Alright, welcome back. Smore here bringing you some more Morrowind. This is Season 1, Episode 7, I believe. Uh, you may have noticed a few episodes ago that we are missing Episode 5. It actually did not render up very well at all. And by the time I had realized it, I had already deleted the source file. In this episode, we're going to continue getting ourselves prepared, and we're actually just going to... Ooh, hello. Alright, alright. Uh, so... What was that noise? Oh, it was crazy. So in this episode, guys, we're going to um, be doing just a little bit of prep. Oh, already picked that. Okay, how about these guys over here? Boom, and then crush fiber or chokeweed. Okay. And we're going to hopefully do some soul trapping. We have become a little bit more lethal, as it were. Uh, so let me explain. We do have a little more offensive capability, uh, not only with the um, absorb health, but with the... Boom, bound spear. And then I have been practicing a little bit with it, so hopefully we should be okay. My goal is to be able to soul trap and kill some of the animals out here and then turn around and sell those for uh, for coin. Um, with the coin, and I'm pretty close, I'm only about 600 gold short, we would then be able to turn around and uh, purchase a Drew shield, which, will ha uh, which is medium armor, and it should give us uh, quite a bit more thought I saw something move over there. It might have just been a, something popping in or a texture flickering. But it should give us quite a bit more offensive capability. Let's just rest here for a moment so we don't use a Restore Fatigue Potion. Also, if we do get some Restore f or some potions to make, some ingredients to make some Restore Fatigue Potions, that's a big one too. So, guys, let's get this summoned, right? And I see a, oh, a rat and an Ixhound, right? So then let's see. Boom, chicken save, right? All right, let's do this. Um, not the next sound, right? So, just real quick. If I can get just a good poke on him, we should be all right. Which sounds terrible. Did that not fill a soul? Let's see if it did. No. Why is it... So what does Soul Trap do? Come on. Soul Trap for 60 seconds on touch. Well, that casted. I don't know why that didn't work, guys. Well, huh. I will have to look into that. So maybe Soul Trapping for next episode. This episode again. Then we're going to just kill some stuff for the good old experience of it. Right? And then we will grab some ingredients, make some more potions. But this is uh, a big deal for us, guys. I mean, this is us getting out in the world. This is us not cowering in fear. It's an easy thing to do. I mean, are they not getting soul trapped because I'm using a bound weapon? Like, that doesn't make much sense to me. Anyways, guys, the point here is... To, ooh. Bad feeling right there. Right? Kind of one of the flaws of using the... Uh, using the uh, weapons, right? Boy, I hope we find something that goes well with Crush Fiber. Or Kesh Fiber. As it, ooh, look, our first Cliff Racer. Fuck that guy. Oh, I hate those things. I don't know anybody that likes those. Not one person. Of course, then someone will comment in the comment section about how much they love them. All right, let's keep, uh, let's keep moving here. So basically, there is no bad ingredients, right? There's... Uh, yeah, I mean, every everything at this point can kind of be used in a potion at some point. And all potions can be vended, right? I really don't want to grab that cliff racer while we're here. Let's quick chicken save. Because if we die, we can always back up and then just recall back into Balmora. And maybe we can purchase a few more ingredients safely from Ajira. Um, off camera, I did bounce around from Mage's Guild to Mage's Guild. I collected all of the ingredients in those chests, in the Mage's Guild supply chests. And I, um, you know, I've never actually been back here. And I went and vended them. Um, I also made a spell that fortifies personality 60 points. So when casted, we then have a personality of 100. Let's take this scrub on. And uh, so now in that, I cast that on self. It's 60 points, and it's for like three seconds. So I cast that right before vending. Oh, there we go. Awesome. And then just to make sure, it's been a little bit since I've checked, right? But... 
Video. Nope, sorry. Difficulty 100. There we go. Just because I'm one-shotting things and I didn't want anybody to to have any other thoughts on the matter. That's why I've been dying so much. And we still can't take much of a hit, right? Right now we're focusing on offensive potency until we can train the medium armor and the other armor skills up enough too to get there. So, so we can take a hit or two. There's flowers all over there. Well, let's go get up the rock. All that for some damn crush fiber. Well, at least I harvested it successfully. All right. Conjuration 37, all right. So once you get a skill to about 40, it's pretty much usable. Um, even with low fatigue, um, you can make it work. Stone flower pets needed these for Azira's flower quest line. When we went out here in like episode two or three and just got owned by that Nick's hound that we are just owned now, that was why we were coming out. Ooh, a few more here that I missed. Somehow, they're really pretty and bright blue. I don't miss them. All right. Uh, queue for auto run. Let's head out to the uh, Amaya. There is actually a pilgrimage checkpoint. There are seven pilgrimage sites that we have to complete before we can start the temple quest lines, which we really should do before we leave Balmora so we can get at least one knocked out in this episode. I thought about making a one, but... Um, you know, we're right here, and I wanted to make sure to get something recorded and put out for you guys. Um, these videos are not the most popular, but I'm kind of hoping to, to, to turn the tide on that if I can. I do enjoy playing them, so it would be real nice to to be able to do that. If we can wait for an hour, that's fine. I guess we're still in the city proper of Balmora or something. You know, guys, up here is where that one guy was at. Oh, that's right. Well, I can't remember if that got recorded and put online or not, but there's a guy up here who was kind of a test to make sure if you're ready for here for the uh, Arkthans Dormer Ruins. And so if you can't get past this guy, you probably don't have much place to be in the ruins. So let's see how we can fare against this guy because the ruins will have a whole bunch more loot for us to go and loot. It's a great place to, to grab loot. Um, so if we can get in there... I'm confident we can take out most everybody in there. All right. Um, I kind of want to just deal with anything. he ca He's going to cast a skelly, right? Or run erratically. That's fine, too, right? Going to get close. Going to cast a skelly. Okay, we will deal with the skelly. Hey, why didn't he hit his own dude? There we go. Oh, shit. My <laughs> spear's like, nope. You get... Oh, see? There we go. Oh, and he cast it at the ground for some reason. Oh! Ow, 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 ow. We can do this. We got the skelly down. And sorry that's so loud, guys, but we can do this. This is a big win. I got to sell that quality restored agility. Aha, I absorbed your spell, dick. Nope. There we go, and you should die too. We did it, guys. Oh, this is huge. This is huge. Awesome. I mean, he didn't have much. Douche. Oh, really? Encumbered? Really? Really? Oh, oh it's because it's got a 24 pounds. Yikes. Okay, well, hold on. Hold on. Wait. Wait. Twice as much. Not twice as much. All right. Good looking model, though. Ah, cliffy. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Before we get owned by that cliff racer. Oh, God, raw ebony. So nice. So heavy. <laughs> uh, so here's what, here's what we're going to do, guys. We... We're going to do this without hitting that cliff racer. Heck yeah, we'll take some golds. And a few more golds. It's like 19 golds. And there's 26 golds. Do maths. Boom. And then... Oh, balls. Why on God's green earth did that... Oh, my God. We're going to die right here by this stupid cliff racer. Yes, we are. All right, guys. Um, 
one of those for starters. Don't stop it. Well, I mean, do stop it, right? Worst player ever, guys. You guys can go ahead and just comment in the comment section right now. Oh, this is so bad. I am going to whip my spear out and stab you to death. Oh, I leveled up already. Not good, though, because we won't get a very good multiplier out of it, but that's okay. Stop hurting me. And he didn't even give us a racer plume. Well, it consumed all the potions we had, and that's too bad, but... That kind of rhymed, incidentally. I don't understand why the shit recall just couldn't work for us. All right. Now to work. I've got a few minutes Son of a bitch. <laughs> Am I wrong? No, I'm not wrong. Ah, that's all right, guys. Uh, so, here's the thing. Is that enough? Boop. It sure is. Nope, nope. Whatever. That's okay. All right. So, oh, it's going to be late at night, isn't it? Let's go uh, have a little rest, right? We are lightly RPing this after all. And at nighttime, we try and rest, right? So, man, all right. I can't believe how well that worked. That was awesome. What's until healed? How many? Not level three. And what's the... Well, four to endurance isn't bad. Two to strength, though, is not good. And then, of course, we always throw one in luck just because it's what I've always done. You could even call it a lucky tradition. Ha, ha, ha. So terrible, I know. Boom. 8 a.m. Let's do it, guys. So, yeah, I don't know why uh, episode five wigged out so much. But basically, I went down to go get the egg poachers from the Fighters Guild. Got my ass kicked. And then I went to go try and take on that dude on the bridge. Got my ass kicked again. And uh, I think we made a spell or something. Like, it wasn't a whole lot, right? Um, if anybody cares, I can definitely go over our spells and where they're at right now. Kind of condition of them. But, I mean, other than that, it's not, not that big of a deal. Um, so, we do have a diamond. And that's why we didn't steal the other one from Nalsarema. I have ebony on me. Just double check. I got everything. Before we catch the light, that one. And then that one. Awesome. So you can see that raw ebony is really uh, worth a lot. Which is good. I've heard a lot about you, Outlander. Go ahead. No. You're not the boss of me, Rainus. From where do you hail, friend? Uh, I'm High Elf. So I, I guess Somerset Isles. Right? And she's Bosmere, so oh, she'd be from Valenwood. Did you want some? May you walk on warm sands. And we're going to have a conversation. Which truly really means we're just going to wait to have the fatigue come back. So we can bar... Oh my gosh! That! Azura, that just won't do. My dear. Uh, how do I feel about that? All right. I don't like it, but we're going to have to deal with it, which means we have to go to the expensive vendor, and we will get not as good of a deal, but with our Talvani charm spell. What is this about, Altmer? Nothing. Mind your own business, bossy Bosmir. So this is the fortified personality, 60 points for three seconds. Outlander, what? I don't even know, Rainus, all right? I don't even know. Speak, traveler. You speak. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know why you would, but. Also, I noticed I've been a little quiet on some of the past few videos, so I turned the audio record level up from 50 to 70, so that, you know, it was like a 40, 45% boost. So hopefully that, uh, hopefully this sounds a little bit better for you. Oh, that guy was in distress. I hope he got some help or something. All right. I'm listening. Ah, uh, Dukes, no, that one. And then this is the rest button. So I remapped a lot of them. Um, and I even think last time I played this, I did it with like a wired Xbox 360 controller. I just don't have one anymore. All right. And still only 82. I should have made it, um, I should have bar or I should have made the spell a little bit more powerful. Oh, that's all right. Okay.
this one, this one, and there. You will take it and you will like it. Excellent. Which also sounds terrible. <laughs> Alright guys, so remember the end goal is to get that Drew shield, right? And we have a few things that, and the vendor is just down here. And just on the other side of this building. And also guys, I have forgotten to grab some armor that's just hanging out. Um, I don't think I'll grab it to vend, but I'll definitely grab it to uh, provide some more armor rating. And... Ooh. We might be getting close to being able to start doing some more adventuring. One step at a time, though, right? Actually, we should probably go grab it first, just in case we want to vend uh, the things we're currently wearing. So let's go grab that armor real quick. I think I can remember where it's at. All right, I think it's in one of these two houses, these two guard houses right here. I just can't remember which one. Let's check this one out first. We'll go with the one on the right. Because a few of these guard houses just have weapons hanging out, right? Oh, is this a book I can read? I already have. Okay. All right. Let's. No, not over here. Let's head upstairs and see what they got. That's good. All right. Make it quick, Alvin. You make it quick, Mr. Bossy Pants. Wait, 24, 24, Greaves Shield. I don't even know what that was supposed to be. Uh, did we try and steal from this guy and we just realized that we sucked and we couldn't? Is that why we don't have any of these things? I feel like that's kind of the case because I'm... <sighs> okay, that might be why we aren't wearing any of these right now is because I am not good enough at stealing things to make it happen. Um, even with him turned around. Chitin? Yeah. Iron. Iron Warhammer. What's this? Oh, Iron Dagger. Okay. All right. Well, then never mind. <sighs> Waste of time. Go oh. All right, for reals this time, we're going to try and get, and get this damn shield I've been talking about the whole episode. And then I will make sure to double check this video when it's done rendering to see how um, how it comes out. The videos have been, the, the timing's been Walker? off a little bit. It's been kind of kind of weird. All right, uh, let's go, buddy. Oh. Let's also grab some of that. Now I have so much. I have such a mana pool, which is why we set ourselves up like this. Really, really weak in beginning. Um, so I, I know that I need a few of those. There we go. There's our 100 right there. So this is what we want. That guy. And I don't want to pay 2264. I want to pay like that. Okay? And then we're going to sell... This guy, this guy, and he won't care about the pants. Yeah, that's right. And we're going to pay less still. Okay. Awesome. I like it, guys. So what this does for us, even though we won't really use the shield a lot, it still gives us more armor rating because, like, an armor rating of 28 and 28, and then we compare it to other medium armor things like... Oh, I actually... Oh, that's all the medium armor I have right now. Looks like I'm missing a sleeve, too. Oh. How the hell did that happen? First soul trap doesn't work. Now I'm missing pieces of armor. And so I that even though we don't actually use the shield with a two-handed weapon, um, it does factor into the armor. See, there you go. A bump of three. <laughs> was huge. All right. Restore strength. So basically, I'm just going to look over these things and see if there's any, like, restore personality. If we had things that could restore personality, that would be fantastic, right? We have drain personality. Yikes. Oh, oh, we do, guys. Crash fiber and heather. Hello. All right. Uh, so we said heather and crash fiber. Whoa, no, not that. Damn it. 
Wait, what? Oh, see the fortify and restore personality is different. Never mind. Oh, I got so excited. Oh, choke would restore fatigue. Well, that is better than no potions, right? All right, so I know the scuttle will restore fatigue. And of course, I forgot that we have the fail chance. <sighs> Boo. That's okay, guys. We did accomplish the original goal of the episode. And let's see. We can sell the pants, but I think everything else is just alchemy ingredients, right? And I don't have any real safe storage yet to throw those in. Why did those things not get soul trapped? That is very perplexing. Huh. I'm going to have to look that up, guys. And guys, it's been about time to call it here. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did enjoy the episode, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, and any feedback, guys. I would definitely appreciate at least feedback in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.